Hey guys, Cody here. And I've been seeing a lot of people get very excited about doing Pollock style paintings. In fact, I've been seeing a lot of, I've been getting people uh, emailing me and messaging me on social media or commenting on my videos with, with images of the paintings they're making of these Pollock style paintings. And I am super stoked. I, I think it's great. It's very exciting um, and very cool. However, what I want to talk about today is the dangers of gloss enamel. And I say that like it's going to kill you or something, which I guess if you drank it, it did, it would. But uh, just, you know, kind of the, not necessarily the dangers, I guess, of gloss enamel, but uh, some side effects of using it. So there's a couple of reasons, and I, I'm saying this because I've, I've been getting a lot of people interested in using gloss enamel because it's not a very common material to use for painting. But there's some side effects and some, I'm going to give you some precautions. So first off, let's talk about how sticky it is. It is very destructive almost. Uh, this stuff is very, very sticky. As in, unlike acrylic, where if you get some on your shirt, if you wash it off in time, you can actually get that acrylic off. Or if you get on your hands, you can wash your hands and usually the acrylic comes off. With gloss enamel, that ain't the case. Once it sticks to something, it is almost always there like till the end of time. Um, if I get on my clothes, instantly ruined. If I get on my skin, it's there for a couple days unless I sit there and scrub it with a sponge with that little green side, the abrasive side. Unless I just sit there and scrub it or use uh, you know, the shower scrubber, the loofah, unless I just sit there and scrub that thing off, it does not come off. So I'm just letting you know now, if you get it on your driveway like I have it, or a wall, or like I said, your clothes or your skin or a tabletop, anything, this crap will just ruin anything you get it on. So I'm just telling you now, it is super sticky. Second, uh, it's very difficult to work with, okay? So I've been kind of evaluating some of the paintings I've been doing, and I tried to do a couple of paintings that you actually won't see posted on the channel because I tried to do a couple of paintings with the gloss enamel, and they just turned out like trash. And it's because the, the paint is so difficult to work with. You see, since gloss enamel is basically house paint, it's very liquidy, and what this tends to happen, or what tends to happen because of this is that because it's liquidy, those colors run together and they make like a very muddy gray or, you know, almost blackish color, depending on what colors you're using. Uh, but those colors run together and they just make a nasty, pooly mess, right? Uh, so the colors running together, and I've talked about this in, in past videos, the colors becoming muddy is a huge problem. I'm done making scraped paintings with gloss and enamel. It is not happening. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. And yes, sometimes I get a decent one. But for every like decent one, there's like five that didn't turn out right. Just of scraped paintings. So you, there's a lot of videos you guys don't see because they just, they're bad. They're, they, they get muddy and the paint just runs everywhere. It's just a, a very hard um, thing to work with. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty good for the Pollock style paintings, but again, it ruins anything. So if you put it on your driveway or, you know, whatever, or it's going to get on your clothes if you're throwing it, just be prepared that wherever you use it, it it's going to get everywhere and it's not going to come off. So I recommend if you're doing Pollock style paintings, you know, put down a tarp or something or, you know, uh, some plastic or do it outside in some rocks that you don't care about or grass or something where wherever you do it and you throw that paint, you're, you don't care about because it's going to get everywhere and it's not going to come off. So very destructive. Uh, it's very difficult to work with. Um, yeah, I, I do the Pollock style paintings and I can do some of these, you know, lined paintings. Uh, but I'm, like I said, I'm done doing scrape paintings with it. It is just, it's just been a nightmare to use. Um, next is, it's hard to gauge how much you actually need. You see, with acrylic, because it's very, like, thick, um, you can wet it down and you can usually get a lot of coverage out of it. You can get a lot of coverage out of this paint because it's liquidy. But the problem is, is that it dries really fast. And so because of that, you know, it, it's kind of difficult to work with if, if you're in a warmer environment. It does dry fast, which is a good thing um, when you're trying to get it to dry fast. But, you know, because of that, it's just not very, it's not a very forgiving material um, like, you know, the acrylic or oil is. So it's just, again, just a difficult um, thing to work with. Next is the fact that 
it gets everywhere. Even if you only lose, like use a little bit, it just like runs down the sides or, you know, it gets all over the place. And going back to it being destructive, it destroys pretty much any tools you use. So if you use brushes, if you use, you know, scrapers, if you use, um, you know, these trowels or whatever you want to use, whatever materials you tend to use with the gloss enamel, it like, it'll stick to it. So it pretty much ruins a lot of the tools that I use for making the painting. So it's like, it not only destroys the environment around the painting, but it destroys uh, that stuff as well. And if if you mess up, you can't really go over it. You can wait for the layers to dry and then try to paint another painting on top of it, but it just uses so much paint doing that. Um, so in fact, like, I wanna show you something. And this is because, you know, I had to use a lot of paint to kind of get it to work because it's so sticky. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, this is from like the lines painting or whatever that I did. And yeah, I mean, obviously I used a lot of paint because um, that was kind of the, the type of painting I was making, but it was just because I was so frustrated. I had actually made like a couple of paintings that day and none of them turned out good because of the gloss enamel. So I was like, man, I'm just going to paint something that I can't really mess up. And that's when I painted the, you know, the painting with all the, the bars or whatever, which you could do with acrylic paint. Um, however, in that video, I talked about how like Ian Davenport and Carlos Fernandez, they all use kind of, I think they use house paint. I know Ian does. I don't know about Carla. Um, but if you have it in a container and you have something down under it, then it's not that bad. So the drip paintings, if you have it in con controlled little bottles, um, it's actually decent for those paintings. So just, just as I had to, uh, if you're using a good paint, you know, uh, it's okay for poured paintings. So if you have a really good quality paint like this Dun Edwards, you can actually can do, um, some decent paintings, but that's another thing. Uh, because it's so liquidy, if you use too much paint on a painting, it pools because if you're painting on, okay, so like this is the challenge. Uh, it comes down to the the surface, like the material you're using to paint on, so your substrate. So, for example, when I paint on canvas, so let me, let me grab a canvas, right? Okay, so if I if I do a gloss enamel painting and I end up using a lot of paint, like maybe I'm doing, uh, actually it doesn't really matter. Uh, most of the paintings I do, because the canvas it sinks in in the middle a little bit because the support is around the edges, it like sinks in and it just pools there. And I've talked about this in other videos, but it ruins the paintings. Uh, in fact, let's see. Um, I don't really have it on this painting, but I in one of the other paintings I did recently. Oh, here's an example. All right. So you see this? This is pooling, right? So... It's not straight across. I made the painting straight, but it pooled. So because the painting is so wet, it moves a lot. And in fact, that Phoenix painting that I used to have up, the problem with that painting was that all the paint pooled into the middle of the painting. And that's, it makes it difficult. Now, if I use paper, then I run into an opposite issue where the paper starts to curl because the paint is so wet and heavy that it starts to like shrink the paper so the paper curls and i've talked to, i've talked about that in other videos too so it's very difficult to work with on the surfaces so uh it's it's just a very challenging substance to work with as a painting material in fact in the future i'll probably be using less gloss enamel which is kind of ironic because it's kind of like my whole thing um and it's because I was deluding myself for such a long time. Like, oh, no, I'm the gloss enamel abstract artist. You know, I use gloss enamel. That's like my thing. Well, I've come to realize that gloss enamel is just, it's so difficult to work with. And there's only a few types of paintings that I want to do that I can actually do with it. Like the, like the Richter style scrape paintings. I've really been enjoying those. I can't do them with gloss enamel because it, it makes such unpredictable results uh sometimes i get a decent one and then other times it's like it just becomes a big gray bloody ugly mess and here this is uh this is a painting that i did with the scrape right and you can see this layer right here but the rest of it just looks muddy right there's no distinction in the colors and when trying to do like 
layers of paint you can't because it's so runny it just squishes it and then it runs out the side so it, it just makes a mess and then the colors run together so it makes it muddy so not only is the painting room but now you have a big mess and you've probably seen this in the videos you've just seen the paint just kind of running off the sides of the canvas and and stuff like that it's it just it just kind of gets old having to deal with that mess all the time uh, my driveway is completely ruined and, and some people are like wow that's cool it's like your driveway is a work of art or you know your tables a work of art yeah it's it's really cool that the city hates my driveway and that my you know my table is so full of paint I can't you know paint on it flat on the table because you know it's so full of paint it, it's just a challenge so I'm not telling anyone not to use gloss enamel uh, if you want to do, you know, the Pollock style paintings or, you know, some of these other types of paintings, the like the dabbed or fractal paintings, then go ahead and use it. Go ahead and do it. I'm just giving you a fair warning ahead of time that it's a challenge to work with. It makes a huge mess and it will destroy the tools you use with it. Okay. So that being said, it, it does make some, some cool looking paintings when it turns out right uh, because the paint's already shiny. But because it pools in the substrate, you know, it tends to pool on the surface of the canvas or the paper or whatever. Sometimes you have these really uneven areas where there will be a big blob of paint here and then it'll be flat over here because the painting, because the paint pooled in separate areas. So again, not telling anyone not to use it, just giving you some warnings about using gloss enamel before you use it. Now, if you plan on doing some Pollock style paintings or whatever, um, yeah, go for it. Just always wear gloves because it will destroy your hands. Only wear clothes that you don't care about. I've gone through, I don't know how many shirts uh, that I didn't, I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna get paint on it. And then I did. Um, so I've ruined clothes. I've gotten it on my skin. If you get it on your skin, it almost never comes off, at least for days. Um, and it just, it destroys whatever you put it on. So just be sure that, you know, you're not painting somewhere uh, where you care about the surfaces you're painting on. So that's it. I'm not, again, trying to discourage, just trying to be practical and, and honest and real about the, the again, not dangers of using gloss now, but, uh, you know, the side effects of using it. So that's it for the video. And I apologize if it seems like I scared anyone off. Anyways, if you liked the video, please let me know. If you didn't, that's cool too. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. And that's it. Bye, guys.